Hello friends, this is Sandeep and in today's video, I'm going to show you that if you are using an iPad and somehow if it got disabled, it could happen if you have uh, tried multiple times wrong password or it does not accept your password that time your iPad get disabled and you will get this message iPad is disabled content connect to iTunes. Alright, so let's start here and resolve this issue. What do you need here? You need a cable, a lightning cable for your iPad and this will work with your all iPads or iPhones as well. The same, you should need iTunes installed on your computer whether it's a Windows or Mac, it will work with both, okay? So let's start here. Make sure your USB cable is plugged in on your laptop and now just you need to do one thing, just connect this iPad with the cable. I'm gonna do it right now, okay? Oh, here it is. All right, so here, connected and you can see we got a message here to sync but I'm gonna just cancel it here now what we have to do here we have to start you have the home button you have the power button here now you have to just press it both buttons at the same time so let's start it here one two three and you have to keep it holding until you will get some other options so let's wait for it All right, wait for a moment. Keep it holding. It's a rebooting. Wait until we get some options. All right, here it comes. So now you can leave it. The moment you will see this card shows that it's in iTunes connected and you will get the message on the screen here where we have the option for update and restore so make sure before you continue from here your all the data whether it's email photos or whether whatever you have on this I mean uh, on your iPad it will be removed completely so make sure before you continue so we're gonna just restore it here click restore button All right, it says a uh, message here. You just need to hit on restore and update. Okay, click next. Agree. Processing here. See here it's downloading the iPad software update. It will take few minutes. It depends on the speed of your internet. If you have a good internet speed, it will take in, I mean, few minutes, maybe one or two minutes or maybe more, depending on your internet speed. So we have to wait until this will download. It's so, it is showing around approximately four minutes remaining. So we should wait for it. Yeah, meanwhile, it's downloading it. I'm just using the fast forward on this video. Oh, it seems it's completed. We have to wait now. You can see here now in this place it says extracting software. So we have to wait now. And make sure you do not disconnect the cable. And uh, if somehow you will disconnect it or it will move or it will interrupt the process and it should not done completely. So make sure you do not touch anything while the process is, in, is going on. Alright, you can see here on the screen here, it start the installation process, we should wait until it complete. It seems to be installing 
an iOS on this iPad now. Alright, you can see the process is started here on the iPad itself. So we should wait until it completes. Now it's installing iOS on this iPad. Okay, it says the restoring iPad software. The process is in in process going on, and again in the iPad itself, you can see the process is here running. So we should wait until it's complete. The entire process will take at least around you know seven to ten minutes to get it done at your site. So you have to be patient while doing this process. Now you can see the message here your iPad has been restored to factory settings and it's restarting so we should wait now your iPad is restarting now restart process is going on we should wait for a few moments about to come PC guide for you is here to help you with your issues for more updates subscribe now here you can see iTunes had detected the iPad. Wow, congratulations, here it comes. So now, it came up here, it says slide to setup. So now your iPad has been successfully restored. So, congratulations once again. You can just do a you know, pre setup, enter your Apple ID, and everything you can set up it, and it's good to go. So guys this is how you can you know easily restore the iPad to settings to the factory default and uh, just make sure that uh, you're gonna lose every data if you have anything on the iPad it, it, it is gonna remove from your iPad by doing this process. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye bye.